Good morning. In today's video, we're going to do full self driving inside the Cybertruck 12.5.5. We got the update this morning, actually last night, and I'm excited to kind of get in there and try it out. So enjoy the video and there'll be more to come. This is our first drive in FSD inside the Cybertruck. As soon as you get in the truck, uh, you're greeted with what uh, happened overnight. So we got FSD supervised 12.5.5, where it combines the stacks on highway and city driving together. Pretty cool. And then we have full self driving, which is a first in a Cybertruck. Cybertruck's never had this. We bought it. We've been waiting for it. I know a lot of the guys, the guys that went over to the uh, the Arctic, uh, Bearded Tesla and Tesla Tina, have been waiting for this. And they put a lot of miles on. This has been very, very handy to have for them. And then also what comes with 12.5 is your vision-based attention monitoring. Now, instead of nagging you and having you grab the controller, it's going to look at your eyeballs through the camera and make sure you're paying attention. So anybody that's trying to record the screen while you're driving, good luck. You'll probably get a strike against you. So I'll probably today when we're driving, I'll have my son sitting behind us filming forward or we can try to mount a camera up here somewhere, a GoPro, to kind of look at the screen while we're driving. So enjoy the video and we'll see you on the road. All right, let's go into autopilot and see what we have here now. And it looks like expanded full self-driving visualization. What's that mean? Widens autopilot visualization area when full self-driving is active. Oh, that's cool, we'll do that. And right here you got uh, full self-driving supervised is ticked on. Everything else is normal. So excited for this. All right, so we're gonna navigate to my daughter's house. So our first full self-driving uh, stint and see how it goes and uh, yeah so it's gonna be about uh, 27 miles 42 minutes and the route itself will be you know we got two routes to take here if we wanted to I'll take the easiest one for now pretty much straight shots you could go the back roads on the 90 and stuff but we'll go the uh, we'll go the easy way just for the first time on full self driving in the Cybertruck. And then we'll give it a little bit more harder task, but uh, let's get going. Wants to activate FS FSD right here, if I can speak. So let's go, wife's gonna film. And action. So I'm used to FSD already in uh, our Model X and stuff. So I know, you know, basically scroll wheel up to make the max speed to go a little faster. So right now it's 25 miles an hour. I want it to go at least 40. So we're actually hitting our first stop sign. Let's see if it stops and turns. And this big bad boy, this is a very fast road. This is actually the road that we almost got in an accident on with the Model X. So, another car coming quickly. He is taking his time to not pull up. Okay, that guy's turning. Does he notice that guy's turning? He does, but there's another car coming, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put on the brake. Just in case. I'm hovering above the brake. Okay. Very, very cautious. We like that. Go ahead. Good job. And you can see on the screen we have the full the full screen visualization of full FSD. It actually asked me if I wanted to do that. I do. It's pretty awesome. So right now it thinks this is 40 miles an hour, it's actually 55. We're gonna crank it up to at least 55, otherwise we'll get it. Let's go 60. I'm gonna give it a little bit of juice here. I've been noticing in FSD, even on the Model X, that even though you increase the speed, the car will like, won't increase itself. It'll like hover at a speed and slowly increase. Um, so what I usually do is I'll hit the accelerator a little bit. Zach, you, you've seen that same thing in yours, right? Where you like it, you tell it, hey, I want to go 60, and it won't go 60. Right now it's going 54. It's not actually 
going 260. You have to actually give it more uh, accelerator to make it go there. So, all right, so we're on our way, and uh, I'll see you at the next corner. Uh, next corner here, it's a double corner. Good job, buddy. Good job. Coming through. Another corner on the left. Not super hard, difficult corners at all. I do like the visualization. They seem a lot smoother on screen here. See the car right there? Okay. Go, baby. Beautiful. So we're coming up on a corner here. This is actually where we had our truck crash right here. Let's build in over here. But we're gonna make a right stop sign. This road's relatively quick. I love the visualization, that looks so good. In about a mile here, we're going to make another left. FSD in the Cybertruck, the uh, visualizations look really good of cars driving. I don't know if like uh, Tesla up their graphics game in here, like the detail. But this looks smooth, you know. Before it was like really choppy and stuff. So FSD in the Cybertruck happening today. Let's go. in the Cybertruck, like the uh, the new update version 12 inside of like um, any of the vehicles. You can now go full screen visualization for, uh, for FSD or you can just bring your maps up here and here's what it looks like FSD um, half screen. So it's still very capable. You can see all your visualizations and turns and all that stuff, but like, it does look really beautiful when you go full screen. So also if you look here, um, the steering wheel for FSD, um, when it's actually monitoring your eyes, there'll be a, it won't be a dot, it's a square. So obviously inside the Cybertruck, everything's got angles, right? So it'll be a red or a green square right here when it's actually monitoring your eyes. Because I was playing around with my phone or not looking in the right direction for it, it got mad at me and it, now it's gonna make me grab the steering wheel. So now it's back on, here's the green attention monitoring icon, and we are turning. Kind of a nice little turn here. A truck next to us. Beautiful. 
All right, so we're kind of in construction right now. Um, I am letting it drive. Um, it, there was a merge back there. It actually merged really well. Uh, it doesn't really see that like in past FSDs, if it, if it saw a cone, a cone would pop up. All you see is like this like little piles of dirt, it looks like. So, yeah, like any of the cones you've seen on the road, they're not really showing up here. Maybe later on down the road. The car on the side of the road here. Bunch of stuff going on. daughter's um, road and on this road there's a lot of like, there is no markings at all there's a lot of cars on here so it's got to weave its way through the cars on both sides of the road um, we just were coming on off of the main highway onto this road and it looked like it was going to take a sharp enough one it ran into the curb I didn't let it I disengaged I was kind of afraid but So this is a good test right here. It's basically no markings on the road at all. Like I said, just a curb on both sides and then cars are allowed to park on the side of the road. So like coming up here, there's a car that's just parked on the curb. So we'll see it as a car parked on the curb or we'll see it as an actual car. There's a car coming at us as well. Let's see how it handles this. Very good, very good. It doesn't look like it knows what a dog is yet. This guy's walking his dog, but it looks like he's walking by himself on screen. Another car there on the side of the road. Driving home right now, we're on FSD inside the cyber truck, and this is what it looks like at night. Just tell me to pay attention to the road. My wife is filming, by the way, so you can see it's basically in night uh, mode, uh, dark mode, if you want to call it, on the screen. Here's full screen, which is pretty cool. guys that's the end of the video it's our first drive on fsd 12.5.5 i'm with the cyber truck in the cyber truck it was a fun day it drove really really well for the most part it does take some corners a little bit tight 
um, where I had to kind of grab control and make sure it didn't hit a curb, but um, it's actually doing really well, especially for it being the first time it's been released on the Cybertruck. But cool thing is we basically rest on the other Teslas that have like, driven and proven out uh, FSD. So if you've driven a car with FSD before, you kind of know the quirks and the good things about it. So going, you know, right now it's at a, it's at a good spot. It goes around um, garbage trucks. It goes around any trucks or cars on the side of the road a little bit. It'll actually go around it and you know it will because if you've driven it before, you know. So, but yes, that's today's video. It went really, really well. I can't wait to drive it some more and give you guys some more good videos for some more complicated things like city driving and stuff like that. So uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. She looks good. Peace.